Hello everyone, this is Danish from Job Skills Shared. This is a quick update for our Light and Premium members. We have added this new course called Network Plus N10008 Partner Content. The reason we call it Partner Content because it is, it is coming directly from IT Pro TV within JSS platform. So why have we added this? This is something little unique uh, pro uh, process where let's say you are an IT professional or you are a person who would like to learn more about the network side, but you want to break the ice first. You don't want to go into Cisco networking, that deep level packet tracer type of thing, and you get a little, you know, overwhelmed with that sort of learning. Then we call this a little bit of breaking the ice type of content where you just get in and try to learn something from a different unique style other, th other than the way we teach things in our courses. Like let's say for example, Modern IT Support is our main course. Every IT professional that joins our platform, if they're new to IT or they just started their career in IT or their IT support professionals, we have them go through this course because it is a very big and technical course and it does come with projects, hands-on labs and everything. But in uh, versus this one is basically a little different because this one is for someone who is working in IT and they want to learn more about the network and let's say OSI model uh, where two instructors are talking to each other, sharing knowledge, and then they also show a lab. So it's kind of like, you know, we're, we're, we're separating it from a very long uh, style courses that we have. And that's mainly designed for skills development versus this is more for like knowledge uh, skills. So how is this going to work? And what is my recommendation? So once you start this course, and let's say if you don't have access to this course, I'm going to put a direct link. And if you click on it and you see expired, you just need to click on that expired button and then come back to this course again. It will be added into your my courses or you can go straight to the page and click on start course and that will remove the expire button from there because it's a brand new course. So maybe that's why the, the button will show that way. So now here we see that you're going to see these videos that I'm posting right now you're going to see this as an answer so the number one thing you need to understand is that partner content courses are learning skills in a video format only it does not come with a lab inside this course so if it doesn't have lab of course it will not have certification because that's how we process we add projects in our courses and it has to be hands-on for us to give you certificate so it's just a video content now question could arise i have a premium membership what lab would you recommend to take with this course? I understand that this course does not come with a specialized or customized labs the way JSS do things. So the best thing you can do in this case is that once you go to the course, I'm going to go and show your demonstration as a premium member. So now you are a premium member. And again, you're taking this videos and knowledge just to enhance on top of JSS courses. You may have already covered this in our courses. We may have already explained most of these things, but you may find something new. By reviewing these videos, you may learn new ways of demos because when you click on the virtualization, maybe a teacher will show you a demo inside this video that may click in or may make you remember certain things that was hard in JSS courses or for whatever reason. You may click on IT address, uh, IP addressing IPv4, so you may learn something new or you may uh, memorize this better than other uh, lectures that we have in JSS. It's all about, you know, some things are a little more of like repetitiveness. You have to learn it from different people to understand the whole concept of something hard to learn. And that is something very normal for IT professionals. Like even if I have 15 years of experience, that does not mean I will remember everything about IPv4. I will definitely forget the deeper level knowledge that I have learned, let's say five years ago. So again, this is more like you're coming back and reviewing things and then kind of like going through these videos and just take notes and, and take whatever you can from these courses. And later on, we may even add projects to it when we feel like this is the, the best time to do it. So what lab would, you, would I recommend if you're taking this course and you're like, you know what, let me open this course and on the side, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open a new JSS uh, portal. Like I'm going to open a new link like this and I'm going to go to job skills share. So in one tab, I have the course. So let's open that. I'm going to open it, totally open it. And in the second tab, I have same portal open again and I'm going to click on practice lab now. So since it doesn't come with any courses or labs inside that course, we're going to have to use this full portal where we can just pick one, one lab or two labs or three labs. So the, the lab that I would recommend over here is this one. 
it is going to be the same name so we're going to call it n10 and basically you see we have the older labs available as well but you want to continue to take the new ones right here which is 008 now this course and this lab both are not associated meaning it's not like you're going to take network fundamentals and look for network fundamental inside this lab i'm going to show you how you need to do this so if you come over here you are going to watch osi model osi and tcp and all of that stuff so now you watch these two videos and you're like you know what is there a lab that i can try to replicate things for this specific two videos um and it's not going to be always 100 percent like every video will have a lab so here if you go back here and you come over here and you type N10 in your practice lab, as a premium member, you have premium labs. This means you have everything available inside our platform for hands-on practice. So you see, this is a 008 lab and you're going to launch it. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch it. So once you click on it, it will automatically log you in. As you can see, it's a full-blown hands-on course as well. So you could either follow the videos and try to replicate things if you wish to like for example from this video and watch everything and then come back over here into your lab because you already opened the lab now it's going to be a third tab so then you click on launch in front of the osi model what is going to be covered all of this stuff so you're going to learn something from a video and then you have an exercise to perform by launching this lab and this is where you basically learn something hands-on that you have learned from a content that is only video access. So now let me show you another example. Now, of course, in the beginning, uh, most of these things are very broad level knowledge, especially when something is very big like OSI model. Now, that's a model, that's a theory. But then you have this virtualization, which is also very broad level information that you need to know because virtualization is not just you creating a virtual machine. It could be a network of virtual machines. It could be so many different type of virtual systems that you need to learn. So this video is important for you to first understand what is virtualization. Then you can go to the lab, uh, the one that you have opened. Now you can come back to, let's say, for example, we have virtual network concepts. So here, if you come over here and you do this lab, at least you will learn about the virtual networking. So let's go ahead and open it and see what, what are they using for virtual networks. So when I open this lab, you see the learning outcome. I can see that, okay, they're using Microsoft Hyper-V uh, and that's perfect because now not only I can learn from this lab about what they're teaching me, but I also know that, okay, this lab comes with Hyper-V. So let's go back. I'm going to go ahead and click here and it even tells you th this is a, like a virtual firewall in there and then there are some other things going on. I'm going to go ahead and click next here and I'm going to turn on all of these machines. Now I want to I want to also remind you that this is not for someone who is just joining our platform and you will immediately follow this video and try to do the same things that I'm doing. You will not be doing that. You will be following our courses that are designed for step by step learning because we will tell you where to go for a lab support, when do we support it, when we do not support it. So that was just a quick warning as you can see now just from this one lab you can learn about virtualization. Like for example, in this lab, it tells you that P11 10, which is this machine, you can install the Hyper-V virtualization. So this machine is enabled for virtualization, which is a perfect way for you to now use a lab that's of course not designed for with this course, but you can easily learn the virtualization type of things by coming here, going to the program and features, just like the way it is telling you to do. And you're going to do the same process by going to the control panel and then opening up the program and features. Like for example, here, I am going to go ahead and click on programs and then it says programs and features. And then tell me to uh, install this feature. So install uh, right here. Like if you go up, there should be a, um, a option where it says turn windows features on and off. And here, if you come down, you see that there is a Hyper-V available in this machine and I'm going to click OK and then what it's going to do is going to start installing that just like what we were shown. Let's see how much is in this machine. Let's go to the system. Now, depending on the lab to lab, every lab or server have different. So it's a it's a good enough uh, memory. So if you install a Hyper-V on this, you can easily install and like, you know, try to figure out Hyper-V stuff like installing a virtual template or something like that. I'm sure this may not come with any ISOs. If they do, it may provide you, but this is not the lab for 
installing a virtual um, you know operating system we have that in other labs as well but again my point is that even though this course is not designed with a specific lab but you can still go a lot further into practical stuff to just even match this video and convert it into more hands-on training for yourself all right then so i am a light member what are my options since i have a very limited lab environment can i still replicate what i can learn from this course which is a partner content and video access uh yes you can definitely do that because most of uh, this information that you're going to see over here is again um, going to be windows related in most cases so let's talk about virtualization here because i'm not going to talk about something very much theory stuff like osi and all that kind of stuff let's talk about something practical so virtualization and this is for premium member as well because they have the same lab access as well a sandbox is kind of like an open access it doesn't come with any uh, guide or anything like that so you can go back to a second tab open your practice lab as a light member and scroll down and type 2019 2019 server just like that so we are going to be using the sandbox over here that's the only lab you are going to see if you're a light member of course these other labs you can ignore it for now so let's go ahead and click on launch and this is again for a premium member as well if you want to follow it with sandbox so you're going to click on launch again so in this sandbox you see you have a domain controller domain three servers available for you this is the server that has a hyper-v already installed and we also added a two isos windows 10 and windows 11. so if you were taking our training the proper way from the beginning you would have already known this stuff because this is something that we have added in our uh, guided courses or learning paths when somebody join our platform we give it to them and that's the way to start things but if you're straight up coming here right now and you're like okay let me just quickly figure this out you you are go, you're going to go to your p lab sa01 and let's remove this whole panel on the left side and in this sa01 you see this is a server if i click on start administrative tools here's the hyper v manager already installed on a server so now you have a full virtualization available even in this course you can install a full new virtual machine why because we have isos already installed or downloaded in this uh, server so if you go to this pc c drive isos so win 10 pro and win 11 as well but again i'm going to keep warning people because if you're new you don't want to start everything that i'm doing right now this is for people who already know how to use these systems okay so i've been keep saying that to people that start that so what if you're new and you're watching my video for the first time what do i mean by that i mean that you need to go back to the roadmaps and here if you're a brand new person you first need to watch your email and we welcome you and we tell you exactly how to use our premium membership how to get a support when do we support when do we not support things like that so let's go ahead and refresh this because i was out for a while so once I refresh my page, I can see my roadmaps over here. So this is the roadmap that we will tell people that click on roadmap, come to modern IT support and start with this journey. You're going to click on the start button and you need to start by clicking on the start button here. And you need to start with the first course. Now, this is a little tip for the people who are watching this video and getting confused at why are you jumping to so many labs? I don't even know I'm new. So that's why I'm showing you this. You need to come to roadmaps click on the journey that I've shown you, click on the modern IT support, and then follow every single video because that's where we start the things in this platform for IT professionals. All right, so now let's talk about the important side of support. If you are not following the lab on the left side and you're trying to just replicate things and you're trying to do your own thing in the lab because you want to just learn because you have access to systems, the only support you're going to get in that is if your machines are not working, if they're not working correctly or there are errors, like you're just not able to access them. You cannot send a support that why there's no ISO, even though you're not uh, following a step-by-step -step instructions on the left side. If you do not follow uh, instructions on the left side, that will not be supported by any support. Just keep that in your mind. We have some confusion with members where they try to go into these labs and try to learn things from a custom videos whether it's our videos or YouTube videos, and then they look for support over here, that will go against our violations of uh, support and that can lead to termination of account. The reason for that is that you're trying to 
uh, use the system but you're not using it correctly and that creates a lot of overhead for support while you knowing that you have to uh, follow the policies of our, our systems. So make sure, please don't do that. That That's definitely definitely not acceptable in JSS. So make sure if you are not following the the step-by-step -step guide on the left side, then you can either follow the videos, research online. If things are not working, that means these labs are not built for what you're trying to achieve from these systems. Thank you so much.